because I'm in the Jew room and my kids, it's almost like a unspoken pressure for them to do judo. Whether I'm doing that to them or not, they just think that since I'm sensei, they need to do judo or they're expected to do judo, which I don't know if they're gonna do judo in high school. I want them to choose their own path. Japan is the home of judo. We took six students from Iolani to Chaki in Nagoya, Japan, and see how a traditional high school judo team practices there versus a Hawaii judo team or an American judo team. One of my goals taking this group of kids out to Japan was expanding their reach. I mean, a lot of them are going away to college in a few years. Give them a little bit more experience about independence, exploration, experiencing different cultures and, and trying new things. So we just tried to make it a, a well-rounded experience for them. Judo is an individual sport. One team aspects are a lot easier to teach in the team environment. You know, common goal for basketball, football, stuff like that. But you cannot practice judo on your own. You need a partner and you need good partners. All the preparation is a team effort. We wouldn't be successful as individual judoka without a strong team. Whether that's in practice, supporting each other during the matches, or making sure that you pick somebody up and you know, dust them off and make sure that you're there for them.